Welcome inside the Kyle Corner video blog coming to you from Branchfield at University Stadium on the campus of the University of New Mexico in Albuquerque where the University of South Dakota Coyotes are getting set to open the 2016 college football season Thursday night against these New Mexico Lobos. How's everybody doing? I'm Jay Elson joined today as always on these road trips by Joe Van Gore, the voice of USD football. And Joe, a uh, lot of questions obviously coming into this game. Uh, everybody's excited about this being the first game under head coach Bob Nielsen. Uh, but I think one of the things that everybody was paying attention to most throughout the preseason and still, as of right now, we don't know the answer to this particular question, and that is who's going to play quarterback when the Coyotes first step out on the field tomorrow night. Well, my uh, indication is that when that quarterback steps out on the field, that's the guy who's starting. But expect to see Ryan Sager, Chris Trevler, and even Austin Simmons in some kind of rotation on Thursday night. And part of the thinking behind that, I think, is just to get these guys out there and see what they can do in a, in a game situation because they have been so, so close in that battle throughout the preseason. They have been, and it, each has its own uh, different dimension to what uh, Bob Nielsen wants to run, and that's the no-huddle offense. I mean, not only are you going to see three quarterbacks on Thursday night, you're going to see a variety of backs, uh, tight ends, wide receivers rotate around to kind of keep the offense fresh as they hopefully move down the field. Certainly teams get it. The FCS teams in these games, they get a paycheck out of this. They hope to get a win, but they also get that opportunity against a higher level opponent to really see where they're at through a couple of weeks of practice. So that's going to be uh, one thing to keep an eye on, certainly as we get into tomorrow night. Now, in terms of the opponent, we know New Mexico was 7-6 and six a year ago. We know that they lost in the New Mexico Bowl to Arizona in a shootout. Very talented team, though. This team returns a lot of starters, and the Coyotes certainly are aware of that fact. Uh, 17 in all, if I'm not mistaken. 10 on defense. Uh, Coach Bob Davey told me earlier in the week that, uh, you know, early on when he got to New Mexico, this is his fifth year now, he had to play a lot of young players. Well, now all those players are now uh, juniors, seniors, you know, red shirts that have uh, gone through the program as well. But this is a, a defensive team that is an attack style defense they will come at you with uh, everything uh, they got uh, when you know with the the no huddle uh, I would imagine uh, you'll see a lot stacked uh, right on the line probably eight nine in the box against to uh, you know to try to you know at least stuff the run mm -hmm. and make the Coyotes pass the football on the offensive side this is a unique challenge for South Dakota's defense a triple option offense <laughs> they do all kinds of things throw throw all kinds of wrinkles at you uh, for from a defensive standpoint and obviously the Coyotes with all the questions on that side of the ball in terms of depth in the defensive line and in the secondary. Certainly uh, going to be seeing how it goes, I think, as this one goes out because it is a different kind of challenge than they're used to seeing. Well, when I hear option, I think of North Dakota State winning Division II championships in the 1980s with Jeff Bentram at quarterback, uh, Chad Stark at a running back, three backs uh, in the backfield. But Coach Davey says this is not the option type uh, offense that uh, we run. We try to give uh, different looks, but what Coach Nielsen is most concerned about and the uh, the offensive coach or the defensive coaches are worried about is that with the option you have to play assignment football. It's the only time they'll have to play it and it's rare that somebody does it, but Coach Davey said they put the option in, the triple option in, to find their own niche and uh, they've got uh, you know a couple quarterbacks that can uh, that can go. They've got some uh, running backs uh, as well. I I have no doubt that New Mexico will try to ball control the Coyotes uh, with the uh, triple option all night long. Certainly a team that's putting. Very effective on the ground. Last year, I think third in the Mountain West in rushing at uh, almost 227 yards per game. So the Coyotes can expect a heavy dose of that ground game, I'm sure, again on Thursday night. They're not going to reinvent the wheel here. That worked for them pretty well last year. They're going to keep doing that same type of thing. Now, in terms of the game overall, Joe, the question I want to ask you and the question I asked Bob Nielsen earlier in the week was, hey, Bob, what, what's it got to be? What, what do you got to have? What do you got to do in Albuquerque? to consider this a success and what he said we just got to come back with something to build on is that is it as simple as that i think so he wants to compete you know you don't come out here to you know get a check which everybody thinks an fcs team does with an fbs team bob davy and his staff have their wide eyes wide open they're telling their players south dakota is a different fcs team mm -hmm. that we're playing as opposed to the uh, the others that they routed uh, during uh, his tenure. Coach Nielsen wants to come out and compete. He wants to uh, use a lot of guys. He wants to evaluate. This is an evaluation period 
that I'm sure will go through the rest of the non-conference uh, schedule with Weber State and North Dakota before the Coyotes start the Valley with Youngstown State on October 1st. But he wants to see where his team is at as far as the installation of the offense, uh, the, you know, the, the the defense is going to say the same 4-3, uh, but the terminology is a little bit different. The covers packages are a little bit different. He wants to see where this team is at right now, but uh, number one, he wants to compete. All right, well, looking forward to it, Joe. Good stuff from you today. Have a great call tomorrow night. Thanks again for your time uh, once again. Looking forward to doing with these with you each and every time we hit the road right. uh, with the Coyotes this season. Again, South Dakota and New Mexico Thursday night in Albuquerque here at University Stadium. Kickoff is scheduled for 8 p.m. Central Time. Remember to follow along on Twitter at Elson, Midco SN.